Hi, and welcome to another episode of Larry's First Impression Beer Reviews. Today, we're going to do a little bit side-by-side -side comparison of some seasonal beers for this fall. Um, typically, pumpkin-based ales. Um, so I have a Ichabod from New Holland Brewing Company here in Holland, Michigan. And I have a Screaming Pumpkin from Griffin Claw out of Birmingham, Michigan. And I have a Blue Moon Harvest Wheat Pumpkin, how would they say? Harvest Pumpkin Wheat out of Golden, Colorado. Um, these two are definitely craft beers here in Michigan. This is a subsidiary of Coors. So the big boys are masking themselves a little bit as a craft beer. Does not mean that's bad beer. As a matter of fact, it might end up being the best of these three. Now, I've had Ichabod before uh, on tap at a lo local establishment last season or last two seasons ago. I remember being like, oh, this is pretty cool stuff. I, I enjoyed this. And then um, the following season, I think that I actually bought some of this and I compared it to this. And I think there's one other one there from Shorts that wasn't actually kind of the same but it was a seasonal one, and um, since I don't have it here, I'll, I'll start talk, stop talking about that one. Anyway, so, uh, as usual, first impressions are going to be a little bit skewed because I've actually had this guy, and I've had this guy, and I remember liking this one a lot, and I remember liking this one. I've never had this guy right here. This came recommended to me from uh, the guy down at Craft Beer Cellars in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If you don't know what craft beer sellers is, it's like walking into a, a tap house that sells singles and or six packs as well. So uh, me and my friend, we went down there for a day trip and uh, walked in. Neither one of us had been there before. It's very cool. You go in there, you go in, you have them pour you a tap, and then you walk around with your beer as you select other beers and their big selection of beers. Um, they had like 20 on tap. And they had like 800 other beers, not only just craft beers from Michigan, but the, tri but the, uh, the Midwest, but also from foreign countries. You get Swedish beer there, you get German beer there, you get Japanese beer there. You, it's really, really fantastic. Anyway, I asked for a pumpkin ale, and he directed me to this one right here. He said this is probably like, like his second favorite one. Um, I think the other one was Pumpkin King that he wanted to, wanted to point me towards, but that was in a bomber, and it was uh, a little more than I wanted to spend that day. Turns out that uh, now I want it. So, <laughs> anyway, stop talking about Pumpkin King. Let's stop talking about shorts. Let's just talk about what we have in front of us. So, I'm going to start with the lower APV. Surprisingly, it's only 4.5, so if you were to break this out, during the holidays at uh, Thanksgiving, uh, nobody's going to get completely plowed on it. They can enjoy several of them if they want to. So let's, uh, as always, just crack it open, pour it to a glass, and see what it smells like, see what it looks like, see what kind of head we're going to get off this guy, and um, finally give it a taste, and then we'll kind of compare it to the other ones. So let's crack the can. I definitely, definitely get some, some spice, and yeah, it smells a little bit like pumpkin. Um, so I like this can here because it's got like, uh, uh, I just it's got like the Headless Horseman on it. So I think that can art is really, really cool. They describe it as a pumpkin ale made with real pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg spices. So... Uh, so far, that description in my first impressions is, is, is dead on. So, I have a, a New Holland pipe glass I'm going to pour this into. And we'll just set this guy off to the side right here. We'll just put it in frame again. So, a nice, I don't know, I'm going to describe it as a orangish, color. Um, you can see your shadows through it, so it's kind of like the, the, the head on it is fantastic. It's got tight little bubbles on it. 
and there's a little bit of effervescence coming up from the bottle. Just ever so little. All right, so let's just see if it smells any different. Not a, not a whole lot there, but um, kind of like pumpkin would be the first thing I like. Okay, I, I can smell some pumpkin. All right, so um, New Holland, here's to you. Um, and here's to uh, Mr. Ichabod. Cheers. I like, I like the subtle spices. Uh, it's a really smooth, easy drinking beer. The head is starting to dissipate a little bit. Um, it's, it's not overwhelmingly pumpkin-y, so if you're afraid that serving this to um, your guests at a holiday function around Thanksgiving or around Halloween even, um, you're, you're not gonna, not gonna off-put them by it being overly pumpkin pie-ish. It's, it's very, very drinkable. Maybe a little bit more of nutmeg than cinnamon. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's not, not bad at all. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. And then I'm going to grab another glass, and then we're going to dive in and take a look at the Griffin Claw. This is the one that I'm kind of really looking forward to because it came uh, recommended to me from the guy down. And I think he knows exactly what's going on there, and I don't know why or how these guys can possibly know so much about so many different beers. Maybe one day I'll be able to do the same. But uh, Screaming Pumpkin Ale, ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. So it does not say what spices they are using. I imagine it's going to be similar to nutmeg and cinnamon type stuff that you would get in most uh, pumpkin type dishes or beers or whatever. Um, the back of the can is I got a little quote that I read uh, that I had read earlier. I'll read it to you now. It says, uh, "I would rather sit on a pumpkin and have it all to myself than be in a crowded be be in a crowd on a velvet cushion." by Henry David Trudeau. I don't know who Henry David Trudeau is, but he must be quite an introvert if he would like to rather sit on a pumpkin than be in a crowded room on crushed velvet. Um, maybe I'll take the time after this video is done to just kind of Google who actually David Henry David Trudeau is. Um, I'm kind of, my interest is kind of sparked on that. Um, but I digress. Let's crack this one, let's smell this one, and see what is going on with this Michigan uh, craft brew from Birmingham called Griffin Claw Screaming Pumpkin. Ale with pumpkin and spice, 5.6, so a little bit step up from the Ichabod. And uh, that color is very similar. I think that the, the color of the head is also very similar to what we had before. Um, the Ichabod might be slightly more orangish. The smell of the can. It's completely different. It's a completely different smell. Um, almost kind of like Almost smells kind of, almost smells kind of sour. And it smells exactly the same in the glass. Um, now, the head didn't stick around at all. It's got just a little bit of effervescence, just like the Ichabod did. And um, just, just give it a taste. So, uh, Screaming Pumpkin, here's to you. Quite a bit different. Quite a bit different. It's definitely got a spice. 
but I want. I'm going back in. Hold on. It's definitely got a spice, and like Ichabod, I would not say it's off-putting, like too much pumpkin pie-ish. Again, you could probably serve this to your friends during uh, the holidays and say, hey, check out this pumpkin ale, and uh, some people are going to like it a lot. I'm going to say that the Ichabod is hands down better in my first impressions than the Screaming Mitten or the Screaming Pumpkin. With the Ichabod, the flavors were more distinct. He said, yeah, there's some cinnamon, there's some pumpkin, there's some nutmeg. I don't know how to describe this one here in that same manner. Is it drinkable? Yes. If I had two by two, if I had two of them side by side, excuse me, that one's pretty effervescent. <laughs> I definitely would recommend the Ichabod over the Screaming Pumpkin first. So, um, I'm, a, I'm slightly disappointed, but uh, maybe your palate is different than mine. So, that being said, let's go take a look at the Blue Moon. Uh, Blue Moon Brewing Company, this advertised itself as a harvest pumpkin wheat from Golden, Colorado. This is Coors attempt at fooling us that we're, it's a craft beer. It looks and feels like it's craft, but it is a subsidiary of Coors. Um, 5.7%. So they've beat me, or they've got my attention in a couple of different ways. Typical, typical blue moon cap, nothing on the inside. It's um, established in 1995, Blue Moon Brewing Company. Um, I like the fact that it's in bottle. I like the fact that um, it's wheat. I enjoy a good wheat beer. So they describe it as real pumpkin and spices. Again, not, not to divulging what spices that they are. But uh, let's just give this one a smell. Really nondescript. I don't get anything jumping out at me is saying, oh, this is a pumpkin, this is a wheat beer, or it's got any kind of spices that I would expect a wheat beer to have. So let's give it a pour. Set that guy in the frame. I do like their blue moon thing. So, um, got a little bit more reddish hue to it. So there's Ichabod. And there's Blue Moon. It's got a nice head on it. The head, if I remember right, this one looks like it's a little more amber head to it. It's got looks like it's got just a little, maybe slightly more effervescence of bubbles coming up in that guy. Um, the head looks like it's dissipating relatively quickly. Let's give it a smell. Um, I got nothing. I really, truly was hoping that it would give me a clue of what I might taste, but I, I don't. I don't get any malts. I don't get any. I don't. Have, I don't get nothing. But it looks good. It looks rich. Um, definitely kind of orangey. So, that being said. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this one stacks up on my palate against these two. Um, I don't believe either one of these is too strong with a ruins one following it. So uh, I'm not cleansing my palate. I don't think that this is really necessary just between these three beers. This is a small sample that I'm doing. So uh, with that being said, hey, Coors, 
Here's to you. Somewhere between Ichabod and Screaming Pumpkin is where this guy lies. As far as flavor-wise, I've got to say that I'm not enjoying this one as much as Ichabod, but it's, it's, it's okay. It's good. I don't think it... Uh, Anybody's going to complain if you pour them a, a beer like this. If they, if they know what they're getting into, you say, hey, here's a pumpkin, a wheat pumpkin ale. Um, I think the wheat makes it a little bit more smoother than the, than the other ones. We'll go back in. In one aspect, I enjoy the flavor more. Um, definitely then the Griffin Claw, because the Griffin Claw is maybe just, between the two of these, maybe slightly off-putting with a, with a flavor that you not, you don't recognize. I think flavors, if they say that it was with spice, and they say nutmeg and cinnamon, that, that should taste some nutmeg and cinnamon, 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 <laughs> um, but that's the only one that does that is Ichabod. So I get the, the I get the what they say in there. The other two just say spices, okay. Um, so I can't knock them for if I don't taste the nutmeg. I can't knock them if I don't taste cinnamon. Um, but yeah, nope. If it's there, um, it must be so subtle that it's not really kind of making a grade. Um, now I really wish that I had found the Pumpkin King because people say that tastes like pumpkin pie and these neither one of these tastes like pumpkin pie. These taste like uh, a nice beer with some pumpkin undertones with some spice happening there and uh, the only way I would give Coors, or I said Coors again. Anyway, I would give Blue Moon the nod over the other two. This has got just slightly a little more alcohol content. I appreciate that. It's in a bottle. I appreciate that. Uh, but they get demerits from masking as a um, microbrewery. So, that being said, I think this challenge goes to Ichabod. I think that all the way around, that that is a much better tasting um, pumpkin beer. I also like the artwork way better, and I think it delivers more on the spices that I had expected with nutmeg and um, cinnamon. So, hopefully, that kind of clears up just a little bit, maybe, of your choices if you happen to go out and get some pumpkin ale. I'm a little bit late to the game. I think maybe most people probably have already gotten this, and it might be by uh, this time uh, a little more, more difficult to find. But I'm sure that uh, no matter what pumpkin beer that you have, um, you would agree with me that it should deliver what it says. And I think in this case, Ichabod, I think we'll just take one last taste of this guy. So, New Holland, here's to you, and here's to Ichabod. Cheers. Oh, yeah, definitely. Going one, two, three, and then going back to the first one. Definitely, this is your guy right here. Don't even bother with the other two. So, anybody says, um, what kind of pumpkin beer should I get? Um, tell him Larry says, get Ichabod from New Holland Brewing Company. And uh, cheers. Thank you.